As Nature Made Him, The Boy Who Was Raised as a Girl, by John Colapinto is a thought-provoking exploration of the complexities of gender identity and the influence of nurture versus nature. This book tells the tragic and controversial story of David Reimer, a Canadian boy who, due to a medical accident, was raised as a girl from infancy. Through the lens of David's life, Colapinto delves into the nature of gender identity and the impact of societal expectations and medical interventions on an individual's sense of self. Colapinto's narrative begins with the unfortunate incident that changed David's life forever. David and his twin brother, Brian, were born as Bruce and Brian Reimer in 1965. When they were just eight months old, a medical accident during their circumcision left Bruce mutilated. In a desperate attempt to provide a sense of normalcy, the Reimer parents agreed to a radical medical experiment suggested by psychologist Dr. John Money, who believed that gender identity was largely shaped by upbringing rather than biology. Bruce was surgically altered to become Brenda, and the twins' lives took radically divergent paths. The heart of Colapinto's analysis lies in the consequences of this experiment. Despite Money's assurances that Brenda would adapt to her new identity, she faced severe emotional and psychological struggles throughout her childhood and adolescence. Colapinto paints a vivid picture of the anguish Brenda experienced, from the painful medical procedures she endured to the bullying she faced at school. This section of the book poignantly illustrates the limitations of societal expectations and medical interventions in shaping one's identity. The turning point in Brenda's life came when she learned about her true gender identity as a teenager. Her parents revealed the truth to her, and she made the courageous decision to transition back to being male, adopting the name David. Colapinto masterfully captures the emotional turmoil of this transition, highlighting the internal struggles and external challenges David faced. This transformation also sheds light on the enduring power of one's innate sense of self, despite the formidable external pressures. As the narrative unfolds, Colapinto weaves in scientific and psychological insights. He explores the controversial nature of Dr. Money's experiment and the implications it had for the field of gender studies. Money's insistence that nurture could overcome nature was a flawed hypothesis, as demonstrated by David's story. The author also delves into the broader societal context of the 1970s and 1980s, where gender roles were strictly defined, and non-binary identities were largely marginalized. Moreover, Colapinto delves into the significance of David's story in the broader context of the transgender rights movement. David's journey from Brenda to David represents a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the authenticity of one's gender identity. His story challenges the traditional binary understanding of gender and highlights the importance of self acceptance and societal acceptance for transgender individuals. One of the book's most impactful aspects is its exploration of the enduring trauma that David experienced throughout his life. Despite transitioning back to being male and finding love and support from his wife, Jane, David struggled with mental health issues and feelings of inadequacy. His tragic end by suicide is a stark reminder of the profound and lasting effects of early traumatic experiences. Colapinto's narrative is both heart-wrenching and eye-opening. It serves as a poignant critique of the medical establishment's treatment of transgender individuals and a call for greater understanding and acceptance. Through David's story, the book highlights the importance of empathy and respect for individuals navigating the complexities of gender identity. In conclusion, as nature made him, the Boy Who Was Raised as a Girl by John Colapinto is a deeply moving exploration of the interplay between nature and nurture in shaping one's gender identity.
David Reimer's life serves as a tragic yet powerful example of the enduring impact of early childhood experiences and societal expectations. Colapinto's narrative prompts readers to question the limitations of medical interventions and to embrace a more compassionate and inclusive understanding of gender identity. This book is a compelling and important contribution to the ongoing dialogue surrounding gender and identity in our society.